guys, so in this video I'm going to attempt to clear up some misconceptions about the word agnostic and atheism in general because it's something that has come up again in recent conversations with people and I apologize to anybody who has been watching me for a long time because I think that I have made a video very similar to this a little while ago, but I feel like it's a good thing to keep bringing up because it's something that I see all of the time in my comments and like I said, I just had a recent conversation where it came up. Uh, where my last video was posted and someone responded to it saying that, uh, you know, I get what you're saying, but to be fair, agnostic is the best position to take, or something along those lines. And I feel like if people really understood at least my interpretation of what agnostic means, then they would never say something like that. And I say my interpretation because this is kind of a controversial topic. I mean, there are people who I love and respect that disagree with me on this. They, they feel that agnostic is a valid term to use whenever describing someone's belief systems. And I just disagree with that. Like, I, I cannot break down the word agnostic, which means the lack of knowledge, literally, if you break down the word, that's what it means, uh, you know, to describe anything other than a position of knowledge. I cannot apply that to a position of faith or belief because that's not what the word means, or it's not what the word is supposed to mean. But a lot of people over the years have turned it into a way of describing their religious beliefs in a sense, uh, you know, and I can understand where that comes from because, first of all, saying that you're atheist is not always the most preferable word to use because, unfortunately for a lot of people, saying atheist just sounds like a negative word. And the reason why I try so hard to clear up this confusion between agnostic and atheist is because I feel like a lot of people who say they're agnostic are atheists because they just don't understand what agnostic and atheist mean. So to put A before a word just negates the word. So if you say that I'm sick but I don't have any symptoms, I'm asymptomatic. The same thing goes for agnostic. Gnostic means to have knowledge. So if you are agnostic, that means you lack knowledge. Now, belief and, and religion and stuff, that's theism. Even if you're a deist, it's still theism because it's the belief in the existence of a god or gods. So if you are an atheist, it's just simply lacking that belief. So personally, I identify as agnostic atheist because I am not going to claim knowledge either way, but at the same time, I just don't believe that there is a god. I just don't have that belief. I'm an atheist. A lot of people think, and maybe this is true for some atheists, but a lot of people think that the word atheist means to believe that there is no God. They claim that atheism is a belief system, and it's, it's really not. It's lacking a belief system. So people who are claiming to be agnostic do so because they don't want to say for certain that there is no God. But in my opinion, that's not what I'm trying to say whenever I say that I'm an atheist. I'm just saying I don't believe that there is one. I'm agnostic on the position of knowledge. I can't say that I know that there is no God, but I don't believe that there is one. I haven't been provided enough evidence or given any real reason to feel that way, so I'm an atheist. I don't know there is no God. I don't, of course, I'm not going to pretend to have that kind of knowledge, but Personally, for me, I do not hold that belief. I do not hold an active belief in God, so I'm an atheist. I think another problem is that a lot of people who are agnostic or, or say that they're agnostic and try to apply it to belief is, is because they feel like agnosticism is a 50-50 thing. 50% that there is a God, 50% that there isn't a God. That's not necessarily how the word agnostic you know, works. It doesn't have to be that. There's not like a certain fraction that applies to that word all the time. So whenever I say I'm agnostic, I do not absolutely give equal credibility to the possibility of there being or not being a god. I lean way towards, you know, there not being a god. But that doesn't mean that I have certain knowledge that there isn't, so I'm always going to say that I'm agnostic, because I feel like it would be arrogant and ignorant to claim otherwise. So if you Google the word agnostic, the definition that comes up, it says a person who believes that nothing is known or can be known of the existence or nature of God or of anything beyond material phenomena. Okay, the first issue I have with this definition, a person who believes that nothing is known. I mean, that's, that doesn't really make sense because that's taking the knowledge that you have or don't have and saying, I believe that I don't have knowledge. That's not really a belief system. That's just admitting that you don't have knowledge. I'm gonna go off on a little bit of a side note here. I've had issues before in relationships where I, I ask the person, like, how do you feel about this thing? And they're like, well, I should feel this because of this fact, this fact, and this fact that you did. And I'm like, 
confused at that point. I'm like, okay, but how do you feel? If that person responds saying, I feel that I should feel this way, it's still not really an answer of how you feel. And that's kind of the reaction I give also to people who say that they're agnostic. I'm like, okay, I get that you don't know, but what do you believe? Because I feel like atheist and agnostic answer two totally different questions. If I ask you, do you know? And you say, I don't know. You're agnostic. But if I ask you a totally different question and say, do you believe in God? That's a yes or no answer. I mean, a belief is something that is active. It's something that you practice. It's something that you think about. It's something that you actively hold. You can't not know whether or not you actively hold a belief about something. Now, like I said before, regarding the word atheist, saying that you're an atheist does not mean at all that you know there is no God. It's also claiming a position of, you know, honesty in my opinion, because you don't know the facts, so you don't hold a belief based off of a lack of evidence. I feel like a lot of people who are agnostics are actually atheists, but uh, are afraid of the word in some sense, which I understand, but I feel like in order to reach a critical mass of people where we can actually come together and make a real influence on political things, for example, you know, we have to be able to destigmatize that word and understanding what it really means and not being afraid to use it and understanding that normal, happy, nice people are atheists and that doesn't mean that we're claiming a position of knowledge. It doesn't mean that we're holding a belief system. I feel like that's really important to understand. Do you know there is a God? That answer's agnostic. Do you believe that there is a God? That answer's theist or atheist. Atheism is a blank slate. Atheism is not a doctrine. There's not an atheist agenda. Atheist is not a religion. It's not a belief system. And it frustrates me so much because even whenever I post videos on YouTube and I type atheist or atheism in the tags, it brings up atheism, parentheses, religion as a suggestion. It's just wrong. And I feel like, unfortunately, that aspect of it scares a lot of people off to not want to say that they're atheist and to act as though agnosticism is, you know, a valid way to express yourself whenever it comes to your beliefs. Now, some people have kind of given that word their own definition, which has caught on and become kind of a trendy thing to say that agnosticism is just, you know, belief that you don't know. But like I said before, saying that I feel that I should feel something doesn't really explain how you feel. Believing that you don't know something is just admitting that you don't know something. And if you really think about it and try to take the negativity out of the word atheism and apply it to yourself in a way that's just a blank slate, that's not claiming knowledge, it's not a hardcore belief in anything, it's just saying, yeah, I don't really believe. That's okay, there's nothing wrong with it, it's not a negative word. And I feel like a lot of people who claim that they're agnostic are actually atheists, but just a little bit trigger shy of the word. But like I said before, this is something that I've had conversations on with people that I respect and love, and you know, they think differently than me, which is, you know, good, it's exciting. It's fun to generate conversations like this in a respectful way that's not like, you know, emotionally charged or angry, just like a calm, cool discussion about, you know, what you think this means. So that's the purpose of this video. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I just, I, I feel that you should feel this way. Just kidding. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I hope that this generates some interesting conversation. Also, really quick before I go, I have some really cool Halloween shirts coming out that say, Boo! I'm an atheist, which I think is really cool because like I just said in this video, a lot of people are scared of that word. So what better way to show your Halloween spirit than to wear this awesome t-shirt that I think is actually really cute. I can't wait to get mine in the mail. It should be here in a few days and then I can start wearing it in videos. But for now, here's a picture. Thanks so much for watching. Like this video, share it everywhere. All my social media links are in the description below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>